I wanted to do a Q&A, and I asked you guys if you have any questions for me. And you guys did. Starting off is, who's my favorite DC and Marvel hero, and why? For DC, it is Adam, aka Ryan Choi, and for Marvel, it's She-Hulk. The reason why for both characters is mainly because of the same thing. That being both can be very serious characters, but also can be very quirky characters. Also, I love both of their series. I mean, Brian Choi, I believe, has only ever had one series, while she always had a couple. Any current anime I'm watching? I don't actually watch anime. I did watch some when I was little, like Pokemon, but I don't actually watch anime. I did read some manga, though. And how would I currently fix the ASM comics? Oh, Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, <laughs> I was confused for a second. My bad, I'm stupid. Uh, personally, I don't think I hate the comic, current comic, as much as everybody else does, but there is a specific panel that I absolutely despise. <laughs> that being when Peter calls Mary Jane a sister-like figure to him, which I don't even know why they would have that in there. That was just, well, I couldn't believe that. And I also really dislike the fact that they broke Peter and MJ up, and the way that they did it just really is trying to make it that they can never get back together. And now if they ever did, it would be really creepy considering what Peter said. Even Black Cat called him out on it. However, I did like Hollow's Eve, the new villain. I think she's okay. And as Ben for a villain, I think he's been a villain before and I can live with him being a villain again. I don't know how to feel about him being this villain specifically. Chasm, because he can be extremely, in my opinion, over the top. Personally, I would fix this by having MJ and Peter stay together and not have had that whole the she's like a sister to me thing because that is creepy. And I would have had Ben be possessed by like maybe a symbiote. So it's not exactly his fault that he's a villain. And I made Hollow's Eve the, the kind of like a bigger villain in this arc. I mean, yes, well, technically Ryan, but yes, I know she is a somewhat big villain in this arc but I would have preferred her be the main villain, not Ben Riley. From Nick Wilson, he asked, Why are you so... I can't say that word because I got in trouble once for saying hell. But I think I can show it on the screen. And if I can, thank you so much. That really boosted my confidence. And also I want to mention something that happened to me recently, and that is when you search up ESC Comics in YouTube, my channel actually pops up now. The reason why I point that out is because it used to never pop up. If you looked up ESC Comics on YouTube, it would just try to autocorrect it to best comics. But instead, now my channel actually shows up. I noticed that because I looked at, I can see what people are looking up for them to get to my YouTube channel. And I saw that the people are actually Googling my channel name. Well, not Googling, YouTubing. <laughs> YouTubing my channel name? Searching my name on YouTube. Okay, that's, that's, more correct. Sorry, it's one of the first times I I'd ever didn't have a script for me to read into a into a um my mic, so I'm a little bit nervous talking out loud without a script because I'm currently just winging it. Sorry that if I make a lot of mistakes. What was the first comic book you ever read? That was Secret Wars, the one from the '80s. Which I think might be a reason why I also like She-Hulk so much, because she was very prominent in that series. What made you decide to make a YouTube channel? Uh, I actually made it. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I was 12 when I made it. And it was one of those things where, like, a kid was trying to be a YouTuber. I, I guess I didn't really... I mean, <laughs> I guess I didn't try. I became one. Which is actually pretty funny when you think about it. And do you think we'll ever do a collab with another YouTuber? I don't actually know. I used to actually do collabs. But, like, a lot of my friends who, like, did YouTube don't do it anymore. And also, I have a much, like, <laughs> aggressive schedule now with my YouTube channel that I don't know if anyone else would ever agree to. I currently am thinking about having a possible collab with one of my friends. However, we're still talking about the details, and I'm not entirely sure if that will even happen. So I won't say what the video idea is, mainly because I feel like it probably won't happen. Because, like I said, my schedule for my YouTube is... For my YouTube. For my YouTube channel is very, very 
just constant and very aggressive. And I don't see anyone being okay if I'm just like, hey, we had to record this in like half an hour from like 627 to 657, just like the most random time. But maybe when my channel starts to like become more of my life and other things in my life start to slow down, maybe. But right now, I don't really want to put anybody else through my like very go, go, go schedule for my YouTube channel. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.